What is up guys, it's Mike Schmimer and welcome to my YouTube channel and uh, most of all welcome to the playthrough of Venus. Now normally this is a no commentary version but um, I'm gonna do a couple of things here which is one of them selling everything that I have as well as spawning myself a tears of Venus because uh, I have to uh, desecrate my sword and um, I consumed it to show you guys that as a paladin it, you will die you know um, as a fire mage I would use it to gain certain capabilities however I must say that I disagree a bit you know with the a fire mage being the true chosen of the Nords and the paladin not because all the fire mages here has as well as capable of fire some of them have the capabilities of using the summoning magic the lightning magic which is a balear you know um as well as ice block ice lance etc which is adenos so in my particular playthrough the path of balear would be the fire magician but it's not about what the character is from the get-go it's about what he becomes you know, certain things that happen will make certain influence which will make him go to a certain god, you know. Alright, so let me sell everything I have. Well, that I don't need. I need a few. Which is uh, quite a lot. So use this momentum, you know, to explain you guys on what the current issue is, you know. Um, but I will go that into that just in a bit. Just let me sell the things that I don't need. So I have that done, you know. Now, if you would sell accidentally, sell to any merchant your sacred eye of Venus, which you will need for the main quest Milton will have it um, when you enter halls of Erdrath I'm not gonna sell it because I'm I don't you know I know that it will not disappear so it's kind of useless to sell which of course does make sense you know um, I'm not quite sure Yeah, okay, already used the book. I need a f Now I need the dragon eggs and the dragon blood. I'm not quite sure about dragon blood, but I do need the dragon eggs for a strength potion. Not that that guy need it, but you know, it's free. I could have made those steel blanks, you know, into weapons, but not really needed. What I originally also wanted to do in this episode is uh, wasting all my current gold, which is about 49,000. Um, well, 94, my apologies, 94,000. Uh, go pieces into the shrine of Adonis. The problem is that I um, walked up against the uh, last hour is that the fact that you can pray all the want, but uh, if you pray it as exactly the same statue, you will receive no bonus whatsoever. You know. All right. So my character build. Now this is uh, the main reason why I'm doing this with commentary, this particular part, because this is the particular part where I've literally wasted uh, three parts in one episode, which is in total about three hours if not more, 
of a gameplay where I literally killed all the critters surrounding in the valley, most of them, you know, especially the orcs, most of them dead, including Hoshback. The gates are open, so those orcs that spawned have been killed as well. Um, most of the critters in this game has been beaten, and yet I have not have the capability of getting my, you know, one-handed and my crossbow to 100%. Now, one-handed has been succeeded, but it cost me my last 15 learning points. And then the horse of Erdereth, of course, I will be able to level maybe one, two, maximum three levels. Um, and that would have gotten my crossbow to 92%. Still better than 62, but uh, there's no one in the horse of Erdereth can, that can, can teach me how to master the arts of the crossbow. None of my companions whatsoever. I have completed all the quests that I could complete. I have failed two quests. And I have still one quest open, which is Dragomir's crossbow. I sold it to someone. Can't find the merchant who I sold it to. I checked all the merchants in Harbour Town. I checked all the merchants in at least those that I uh, can recall in the Valley of Mines, etc. You know, and none of which had the Dragomir's crossbow, so I can really not complete that. Have to feel sorry for However, that. I also come, came across another problem really should that I better. noticed, which is I needed to have the Tears of Enos to consecrate my sword, which is a very must if I want to uh, be able to outbeat and defeat the boss you know, the final boss, without having issues with his regeneration bullshit, which is a really pain in the ass. However, I consumed the Tears of Enos, just to show you guys that as a paladin, you will die with consuming the Tears of Enos, and I totally forgot that I would need it to consecrate my sword, and thus bless the sword with the power of Enos. However, if you have this as well, you know, and make sure to uh, check in and you can spawn it. So, the following what you have to do is uh, see Marvin C. I think I already have it activated. Yep. Okay, so I don't need to type it. Now, C is stands for your character menu. I do not know which your button is for your character menu, but it's character menu, Marvin character menu. And then press F2. That's nothing new. Press insert. There we go. And, uh, you know, retype the following message. You should have known better. I couldn't care less. Why haven't I heard about this before? Spawn it. And you will have the Tears of Enos. Now, if you are smart and not as stupid as I was, um, you could consume it just to see whether you'll die or not, um, and then reload, you know. But if you don't want to do that, I, you know, didn't reload whatsoever afterwards, you could still spawn it, which is uh, relatively good. So let me consecrate my sword. And, uh,. Yeah, basically go to the Halls of Erdereth, which will begin, you know, will it will continue without commentary. This is not to bother you guys, this that is not to annoy you trouble. guys, but this is to give the people I've got no time from all different like angles the potential, you know, on Nothing's watching my gameplays without commentary, with commentary, no and with either live stream or go gameplay commentary, you know, rumors. just to give people an option, and since this game has three parts, it couldn't get better, you know. You should have known right, So let's uh, go to Harbour Town and uh, set that. off to the halls of air draft, guys. You already know what I think. Which uh, will be without I commentary whatsoever. That. I must note that, but uh, do you really think? You know, I hope to see you guys in uh, Gothic Three. I couldn't care less. The uh, Halls of Air Ref will start in the next episode, so that's for sure. However, um, 
you if you do to want there. to see the Path of Venus in Gothic 3, let me know in the comment yeah, section down below, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, watch my playthrough of Adenauts if you want to have with commentary, those are all just um, but those, you know, those playthroughs, each that playthrough has their own set of uh, quests, you know, depending on the part that. that you take. Mercenary has a different one than the Paladins oh, and the Fire true. Mages, you know, and the other way around. That's nothing new. So let's go to the harbor city. And uh, go to the horse of Adrath. It is possible that the cutscene will be a black screen, which is not in game, don't worry about that. But that is because of OBS. You gotta love OBS, you know, open broadcast software. You gotta love it. But uh, sometimes it shows, you know black screens instead of the actual in-game content. Um, so if that is the case, uh, my apologies, but uh, I, I could skip it, you know. I will skip it, because uh, my Path of Adenals has it anyway, so, you know, might as well skip it and have no issues on this video whatsoever, which is a better option, I suppose. Now this video is going to be a relatively short one, but uh, I want to let you guys, you know, have a little bit of an update on my current strength build, which is, you know, cannot be completed um, when it comes to the level. I still need about 38% in crossbow. I've already wasted my stone tablets, etc. Um, normally I would do that with the last bit, you know, but my level is unable to uh, get enough critters slash xp um, to get my characters perfect perfect stats um, since this is without heights of power you know um, the game is not that forthcoming when it comes to leveling the positive side is that this character compared to the most to the other characters is relatively low and thus it uh, reflects the game relatively well. However, I prefer to have my characters full built, but since I'm doing three runs, in total, Enos, Adonals and Baliar, you know, might as well show you the difference of with Ice of Power and without. This one is without. The path of Adonals and the path of Baliar will be with because they have to have their full potential capability this game will not allow me to do so so yeah I'll see you guys uh, next episode let's go to the captain's qu uh, quarters and uh, sleep so that we're gonna go to the walls of air draft and uh, that's where the final episodes will start and finish the game finally it's been a bit of uh, wasting three hours you know to XP grind but um you know, it did indeed remind me on why I always play with Heights of Power, which is exactly this reason. Alright, so I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Sorry for the particular short video, but it was just an update on certain things, the certain situation. And uh, by the way, let's see how strong. 140. Oh, that's not so bad. Wrath of Enos. Okay, so I can uh, literally sell the Dragon Slicer. The Wrath of Enos. Which is another, on another reason why, personally, from my personal perspective, I believe that the power of the Paladin is the actual playthrough of Enos. Because he wears the weapon, the Wrath of Enos, which I totally forgot about. Had to spawn the Tears of Enos for it, because I consumed it and died for it, you know. Just to show you guys that, according to the game, the Paladin is not the true follower of Enos. But however, why is uh, the follower of Enos only capable of getting the Wrath of Enos Due to the fact of consecration, and in order to consecrate, you need a magic or weapon which you can get from Herod. In order to wield it, you need to be a paladin, fully wielded. Then I mean, you know, 
And this is the main reason why I personally, I don't believe personally believe that the path of Enos is the true path of the Paladin and uh, not the Fire Magician, even though the game says otherwise. Another reason is because of his um, holy magic, you know, holy arrow, holy light, holy healing, small and medium, holy banish evil, you know. He has holy magic, and a servant of Baliar doesn't use holy magic, you know. Um, it's all about the perspective of what your character is going to be in the future, because the Gothic 3 series officially ends at Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods. The things that happens beforehand makes him the person that he is, it makes him who he is, why he supports Enos. Adonis or Baliar, you know, it's not about who you represent from the get-go, it's about who your character become, and it will also explain exactly on what, no matter what path you take, no matter how you connect the dots, at the end the nameless hero turns into a mad king, you know. But enough said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you do, hit the like button, and uh, I hope to see you guys in the coming two one episode, well, one episode with about two to three parts. It depends on how quickly I can get through the Halls of Air Wrath, where we'll finish the game. And uh, thus, a Gothic 3, the Path of Venus, has been unlocked and is going to start very, very soon. Keep in mind, though, it's gonna be rather, you know, hard for me to manage the timestamps on all these videos since I'm popping them up quicker than I can produce them. Well, I upload them as soon as I produce them, which me is makes it harder for me to actually timestamp them and then public it. You know, I did that with Gothic 3, The Path of Adenos, and was not that successful. Um, because of slacking, because of more recording currently than actually timestamping, etc. So instantly all of my videos will be publicly, you know, public instantly instead of in private, in public. Um, private, unlisted, uh, you name it, instead of those nonsense, you know, because I do want not to have a channel that create one video a day, I want to upload as much as I can, so if you guys like what you see, thumbs up or thumbs down, positive or negative feedback, everything is welcome, and uh, I hope to see you guys in the final episodes of the Wars of Airdraft, the final episodes of the Gothic 2 playthrough of Bob Venus. I hope to see you guys in Gothic 3, the Path of Venus, as well as in the Gothic 1, Gothic 2, and all the way to Gothic 4, the Path of Balear, which will also come. So eventually, all three paths will be explored, all three paths will be done, and then you guys can challenge me to beat this game without any deaths, full build, full representatives of each god. Um, both Enos, Adenos and Balear uh, instead of individually and, uh, and no deaths whatsoever. If I die one time, redo, you know, the entire thing. If I beat Gothic 1 then I don't have to redo Gothic 1. But if I do die at Gothic 1, let's say at the sleeper, then I have to redo the entire game just to get my hardcore challenge completed. You know. And they will be fully built. So I can't skip certain quests, I can't do certain things, you know, just to make things a lot quicker, like a world where world record attempt or something like that, you know, no, I can't do that. It's going to be a full build, a full build and literally everything. A gothic space that would be 100% in all attributes, you know, 100% one-handed, two-handed, bow and crossbow, creating runes, lock picking, picking pockets, everything, strength to 200. Um, mana to 200, dexterity to 200, all of these things must reach 200 and uh, without Heights of Power that's not gonna happen so the hardcore run will be even harder than normal. But anyways guys, I'm talking too much again, I'm gonna get myself something to drink and then I'm gonna start doing the Halls of Airdrath, no commentary part and beat uh, the playthrough Vino. so yeah, if you guys like it Thumbs up my videos or thumbs down if you didn't like it. 
positive and negative feedback is always welcome, so I can use it both ways to uh, produce and to create more content, become a better channel, etc. As I like to call it, you know, be a bit, you know, you got, you, you can't do have the same, the best of the best shit in the early going. You know, you gotta build it up from the ground, and uh, any feedback is welcome for that. Like I said, both positive or negative, and uh, I hope to see you guys in the playthrough, in the episodes of the Wars of Eldraf, as well as in my Gothic 3 Blue playthroughs, Gothic 1 playthroughs, any games that I will upload. And if you do subscribe to my channel, hit the notification so you will know that I upload videos uh, relatively quickly. And this could make you crazy uh, due to, uh, you know, most YouTubers these days upload one video a day of about 30 minutes if lucky you know I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna be at that kind of a channel if I do this for a living I'm gonna do this and upload as much as I can as quickly as I can as uh, fastly and accurately as I can this include timestamps etc and uh, if I am one day become big enough I'm gonna pay people to do the time stamping for me, to create intros and outros for me, to uh, do whatever it takes to get pressure off my chest, still improve my channel and create more jobs because we need more jobs people, we need many many more jobs and the internet is just another great way to create easy peasy lemon squeezy jobs that's not gonna be very very funny, you know, very fun or interesting to do but if it gets food on your table yes please you know so uh, yeah I'll see you guys next time and uh, see you guys maybe in the future so good day guys good day